Hello, and I'm Reverend Pat Torak from New Galilee, Pennsylvania. And I'm introducing to you Prophetess Deborah Butt from England. And she's very gifted at prophetic art. It's one thing to um, have a gift of art. But prophetic art is very, very different. Um, to be able to draw what you see in the spirit is prophetic art. To be able to draw a spiritual experience and to to put that on canvas is quite talented. It's a gift and she is quite a prophet. Um, don't let her young age fool you because in the last days the Lord says I will pour my flesh upon all I will pour my spirit upon all flesh. And uh, the young and the old shall be used and I say that this is the Joshua generation and it is this age generation that will lead the people it's us older gals that will be their prayer folks and the mentors but you <laughs> young ones will do the well we, we all have our part in the body of Christ and we'll just do what we're led to do anyway I'm going to let Deborah explain her gift and show this beautiful creation that she did last night. Um, Patricia has an amazing prophetic gift. Um, when she's ministering over people, she'll blow over people, and the breath of God really touches you. Um, for me personally, last night was pretty amazing. Um, she blew over me loads of times, and each time it was different. Each time um, God was showing something different in my heart or um, drawing something to the surface, or revealing stuff, um, or even giving me more things, um, giving me more revelation, or more love, and more passion about things. So, I saw a picture um, of different colours, and how the breath was over those colours, and everything that it meant, and how it just signifies the breath of God. So this is it. <laughs> okay, we have to wait until it's... Hold it up until the pixelation goes away. It'll come in clear. Can you hold it up a little bit? Okay, there you go. If you can straighten it a, lot, a little bit... No, that's way, this way, this way, this way, this way. Yeah. Your, your other this way. Yeah. Good. Now, you're really clear. It's not pixelated. Can you bring it a little bit more forward so that people can see? <laughs> Perfect. Do you see that? Now you can ex start. You can explain what what the colors mean, the layers, the colors, and this, of course, quite obviously, is the breath. So go ahead. <laughs> okay. So um, the blue and the purple on this side um, was basically the background, like um, the each layer with the different breaths. So maybe one breath might be about revelation, about the heavenly stuff. Um, the blue and the purple, and then the next about passion, about love, um, about the refiner's fire, the and red. gold, about the glory, um, and all just blending together the different blessed, the different layers, and then the amazing, like the physical side to the breath of God. Can you get that closer <laughs> to your cam so you can really see the I swirls? Can, I can try. There's the breath. There, that's perfect. That is, you can really see that. Okay, you've got it really close now. Just kind of bring it to the side so we can see all the colors and the layers that you've described. Gold is the glory. Red is the passion. The, the blue is in the heavenlies. And the purple is royalty. Yeah. And, and how did these... What was the ex personal experience for you, Deborah? Um, like we said before, like each breath is kind of a bit different, um, physically as well. Yeah. <laughs> the start ones tend to be really powerful because you're like, <gasps> and then blow it all out. Um, but definitely, like the first few that you blew over me, um, really powerful, like, um, 
sometimes I see stuff falling off from me or as if like I'm going through a storm and like uh, you're drawing against the wind um, or even like the rush of the waters and how the, the sound of that through the voice and through the breath um, but last night it was like all the colours I was seeing um, and everything how it was represented and signifying the different breaths like kind of revealing to me what the breath of God was and how it was working through Patricia. <laughs> now, everyone knows that the word pneumo means breath. Most folks know that. But the word, the, the root word for pneumo, which, forgive me, I don't, can't, can't access that just at the moment. But the same hmm. word for pneumo, which is breath, is also the same word for spirit. And this gift is really, you know, as, as I'm filled with the Holy Spirit. And one of my gifts is in the prophetic. But this blowing, I mean, I, I'm, I'm in USA, and she's in England, and there's others in Australia, um, Canada, any, any United States, anywhere. Um, how can one blow into a microphone, and it's physically, literally felt anywhere? Because because it's a spiritual thing. It's it, it really is the breath of God. It's not mine. It's the breath of God, and there is no dis- there is no distance, and so. Um, it's, it's completely a God thing. And um, I, I know others who have this gift. Um, one very dear friend of mine, Apostle Howard Barnes, also from England. And we are associates with Time Out Missions together. Howard is uh, the co-founder of Time Out Missions. I'm going to give him a little plug there. Uh, <laughs> we're all going to India again. Deborah's first mm-hmm. time. In October, we're declaring this over and over and over. We can declare a thing and it shall come to pass. We declare and we decree we shall be there. In fact, this time, the Lord actually gave me a specific date. And he said, October 29th, I would leave. And I would arrive in India November 30th. I mean, October 30th. Because it it's the following day when you arrive. It's a long trip. Um, arriving in India November 1st and remaining there until November 30th, one full month. So we're very excited. All of you watching this, pray for us. If if you feel a tug in your spirit or in your wallet to support our missions trip, you can contact us. Oh, I didn't mean to plug this, but I'm going to. My website is www.com. PattyDawn.com, P-A-T-T-I-D-A-W-N, or you can find me on Facebook, Pat Torok. Um, I'm on LinkedIn, whatever. And I'm not begging. I'm not asking for money. This is about obeying God. There are many who are able to support financial. They're, they're, they've been blessed with finances. And they're able to make, um, they're able to help someone else go. Not everyone is able to get on a plane and go to another country for a month. They're, they just can't get away from work. They can't get away from children. Um, they can't get away from responsibilities, and they really can't go. And then there are those of us who can go and are willing to go and wanting to go. But the ones who are willing to go um, often rely on those who are willing to send them and help them to go. So that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. God bless you all. I hope that, I hope that this was um, insightful for you. It's probably some, some new information for a lot of you. And uh, Deborah, you described that very well. Thank you. And you drew it beautifully. 
And um, I can be expecting that in the mail soon, right? <laughs> I have to. I must. I know. It's going to be framed and on my wall in my bedroom. It should be in, it should, though it should be in a, a gallery somewhere. No. Perhaps, perhaps when I'm gone. <laughs> Not until. It's mine. Okay. I love you. I'm, okay. And I've said that on recording so the world knows. Shalom. Shalom.